Okay, some release techniques for your calf muscle, your calf complex. Um, using either a roller or a massage ball. We'll start with a roller. Always best to start with a roller. So what I'm going to do, I'll do my right leg because it's closest to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start all the way down on my Achilles tendon. For those of you unsure, that's your Achilles tendon running down the back of your ankle there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, what you know, typically, typically what we've been taught with rolling is you just do this a lot and, and, and see what happens. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but what, what you can do is to use that. So there's a couple of things we can do here. We can roll it a bit, find some tenderness, and when we're on the tenderness, just whack another leg on top to add a bit of overpressure and then just hang out on it. 30 seconds, two minutes, see if it goes away. Yeah. Obviously I do this on the floor, not on a couch, because I want a hard surface to roll on. I'm just doing the couch for filming purposes. Yeah. What I can do is better, if I'm doing that, is I'll have my foot slightly turned out, and then I can roll, I can put my other leg on top to add the overpressure. I've relaxed my right leg, it's just relaxed and allowing it to roll through. And then I can turn my foot in and target the, the other side. I can do that, find the, the tender points and then hang out on them. 30 seconds, two minutes. What I like to do though is have my ankle, my Achilles tendon on the roller. I apply some overpressure in two ways. My lock would be by my leg on top of my leg to apply a bit of weight. And then lifting up on my hands, put my body weight down through my right leg. I'm not, I mean, like I'm relaxing my right leg initially. And then what I'm going to do is lift my toes for stretch one, two, and then release, release. Move the roller up a bit. Leg on top, lean up. I stand up on my hands to lock, lift my foot, stretch, hold one, two, and then release. Move it up a bit, lock stretch one two release yeah so i continue in this fashion as a minute you can see i mean this is just me just waffling crap now but this is what i would do is i start with my foot pointing forwards when i've done that i'd start with my foot pointing out yeah and i'd repeat the whole process this time with my foot turned out slightly and then when i've done that i have my foot turned in slightly and i'd come up Lock, stretch, one, two, and continue like so. Yeah, so I've really I've done three sweeps of the uh, of the calf complex. Um, with my toes up, my toes in, and my toes out. When I find something like there, that was quite a tender point there. So before we've got a bit of a trigger point forming in that area, what I would do is I'd push the roller just below that trigger point, then apply the lock with my leg and coming up, and then I'd apply the stretch by lifting my foot, one, two, release, and I'd stay on that point and I'd do that 12 to 20 times to really try and break through that tissue. By coming just below, there's the, say that's trigger point, I come just below, that means as I lift my foot, I'm dragging it onto the roller rather than dragging it off. 12 to 20 on that, See it and then just hang out on it afterwards. If it hasn't gone, it'll release fairly quickly after that kind of work. And then just give it all a nice roll through afterwards to uh, get the circulation and everything flowing again. Alternatively, you can use a ball. Yeah. A ball's a lot more specific. Again, you can see with a couch, it's no good because the ball just sinks on the floor. It kicks back up be quite painful around the Achilles, so be careful around that. I wouldn't lift up onto my Achilles. I'd just use the light weight of my foot on top. That's enough overpressure on there. But as I move up, now with a ball, I'm only going to go left and right. So if you think about your calf, so everyone always goes on about the gastro, the gastrocnemius. It's a two-headed muscle, so that's the back of the knee. And the two heads come up and wrap above the knee up here, and it comes down as a two-headed muscle. 
Gash nevis really is quite thin. It's the big soleus underneath, which is the fat muscle, which makes it look bigger than it is. But with a ball, I would only do toes to the side, yeah, and toes inwards. I wouldn't really come up the center, especially not as I come up towards the top of the knee, definitely, definitely not. Yeah, I don't want to go into that back of that kneecap area. So I can, but I can with the ball just put a foot on it, you know, stretch, one, two, release and move up. If you're like me and you know you've got, you want to spend a bit of time on this, I would roll, do this all with a roller and then come back to it with a ball. Because with a ball, you tend to find things you didn't find with the roller, but the ball can be quite intense initially. So a roller is a good way of loosening it up first. Yeah. With a ball, I don't have to lift up as high. You see to apply the lock. So I'm putting my foot on lock, and I'm also just lifting off just slightly. Stretch, one, two. Okay, right. So with a ball, though, just be careful your knee doesn't bend. Try and keep your legs straight. It's easier to keep your legs straight on a roller. Keep your legs straight because, like I said, the gas drop crosses the knee. So, if you bend the knee, you're going to deactivate that muscle. You'll still be getting the soleus and everything underneath, but you'll be losing out on the gas drop contraction. That's a lot of waffle about past. So, yeah, so Percy, I'll play with both, see what you prefer. This tends to be a little bit more specific. This tends to loosen everything off quite easily. If I'm just doing a general release of my calves, I'll use a roller. If I'm feeling that they're tight enough and getting an issue, I'll do both. But there you go, have a go, see what you think. And that, that is how to uh, release your calf muscles.